Hey crafters, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to share with you a Christmas in the Country project. It's a Prima paper collection and this is what it looks like. I've been holding on to this collection for a bit and I figured I might as well use it for this Christmas. Um, I created what you call, what I would call a honeycomb pocket because it, it does, well honeycomb pockets, it looks like um, honeycomb to me. So that's why I'm naming it honeycomb pocket. <laughs> Okay, so I did use the chipboard stickers here. We did create a belly band. Now this measures eight and a quarter by six. Um, I did initially make it with a cover over the top, but I thought I really like this look. It was just something simple. Now you can create a full length belly band over this rather than having this flip here, but I absolutely love it. Okay, so we've got the belly band here. The reason why I call it honeycomb pocket is because of this. And I mean, how stinking cute cute is that really really cute now this holds a lot of photos okay so we've got this photo mat here so that's double-sided and this is double-sided as well I turn these into tags but you can certainly use them as a, a photo mat or you can use it like this as a photo mat so that's four another one here six eight 10, 12, 14, ah, 16, 18 photos, 18 photos just in this honeycomb pocket. All right. I absolutely love it. Um, it is so cute the way it turned out. I was racking my brain. I wanted to do something different and I did. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, then I'm just gonna pop these tags back in. Like I said, I just wanted to create something simple um, for a gift or you can have it on your coffee table. Now it folds out like this and there's more room here for photos if you choose to. I left it plain because I really like it like this. So we're gonna do it up. We're gonna open it up like this and then I'm just gonna zoom out and then I will show you the rest of it. So you've seen this part here. Once again, I left it plain. Now you can put photos on there or you can just put some accents. Just make sure it's not dimensional, all right? Then we open this part up here. All right, now that flips open and that's got another pocket here. Now this here is a die that I use from Pink Fresh Studio and it's a big accent border die um, and I love it. It's got four different borders in it. Really, really cute. It's from Pink Fresh. It's called Standalone Cuts. Um, I don't think it's got anything else on it. Oh, it's got an item number PF033ES and that's it there. Okay, so I use that. Then I use the four by six um, journaling tags and everything um, that you get in the four by six photo. Then up here, once again, we've got another pocket. Now this little die, this was um, part of a four by six card, but I just die cut it out with one of my Spellbinders dies here and then that flips open and that actually has tags um two pockets in it so just let me grab out if i've got something small enough that'll fit in there which i think i do i'll just grab this so there is two pockets here okay so it's not just one big pocket i didn't put um journaling cards in there sorry guys you can see that all right so there's oh sorry much better there's that okay then we come over to this side and once again on the opposite side we have got the same pocket now in the center here 
what I've done is actually used a die and this I got from Amazon now it's a stitch pocket oh stitch slot pocket and it's by Maddie's Crafting Joy now I'll leave the link down below and you get this piece here which you die cut out and they're your pockets plus you get that extra die which is your layering piece which goes on top like this all right so really really cute this is i love this pocket and i've got i think border dies for maddie's crafting joy as well okay so that's it just a simple little elegant mini flip and that's the back of it with the honeycomb pocket okay i know quick video right <laughs> I love it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're all um, keeping well. Have a happy, scrappy day. Stay tuned for my tutorial. I'm filming on another desk that I've got in my craft room only because for some reason my camera stand isn't setting up properly on the desk that I normally use. <laughs> So you'll be seeing the white background for a bit. It's just much easier. I'm not going to fuss over the background details at the moment while I'm filming. Um, okay, guys, thanks again for watching. Have a happy scrappy week. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, I think the next one I'm going to, it's a haul, um, well, you know, a product share, I should say, on the Simple Stories North Pole collection. I think it is. Um, anyway, and then after that will be the final um, page for the album, which will be the page six as well. Thank you so much, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a happy, scrappy day and take care of one another. Bye.